Well, years ago, I used to have horses with Kelso Wood, and Neville had his horses with uh, Walla and others, and uh, we bought sizzling together. And it was a lot more fun doing it with uh, a mate than by yourself, and uh, so that's, uh, that's how it happened with sizzling, I guess. We started racing horses together back in about 2010, 2011. First one was Sizzling, obviously. Uh, he won a Group 1. Uh, we had to wait a little bit longer then for uh, our next significant race victory, which was uh, Shaquiro, when he won the Magic Millions. But over the time, mate, we have a lot of fun together. We, uh, we socialise together as well as the racing, so it's, it's been fantastic. Well, we bought three ocean parks at the one sale. And one cost 380,000, one cost 260,000, Cova Lake cost 120,000. The most expensive one was unplaced at a uh, maiden in the country, in the country, and Cova Lake has gone on to do what it's done. So uh, you never know, do you? They don't know how much they're worth. Senor Tiber finished in strongly, Cucaracha as well, Cucaracha, Senor Tiber, and Splashy Jack, and Splashy Jack, Cucaracha, Senor Tiber, Cucaracha, Senor Tiber, they hit the line, Cucaracha, well then Cucaracha's won the derby and not... Well Cucaracha was a bit different to Kovalika in that uh, he was not really one of the favourites for the race. He, um, he came through the normal derby preparation, like the rough habit plate, the guineas, the rough habit plate, into the derby, and he won by a, by a pimple with a magnificent James McDonnell rides. So it's a bit different this year. We're going in with probably the short price favourite, who's had a bit of a checkered bit of a checkered uh, campaign, uh, given that he uh, had that uh, foot injury. But his run, um, his run, his run leading up to it in the Doomben Cup proved to us that he was back and. Uh, touch wood, the injury uh, is not going to affect him. And uh, the way he finished, uh, you know, he's going to lap up the uh, extra 400 metres. So I'm feeling pretty good about Saturday. I guess I looked at the Doomman Cup as some sort of a measuring stick going forward, not just the derby, but his chances in the bigger spring races. Um, because clearly we've got ambitions for him to, uh, to, to go a bit further than um, yeah, to compete with the better uh, uh, class horses in, in the spring. So uh, the fact that he could run third to those hardened Group 1 horses like uh, Hueta and Yumerian uh, and, and, and beat quite a few of the other horses in the race proved to me that, you know, we've got something to look forward to, A, in the derby and certainly in the spring. There are other, other races up here over the, uh, the course of the winter, like the Q22. But I think if, if, he, if he comes out and wins the, uh, the derby, I think he will have done his job. And we can concentrate then on, uh, on where we go to in the spring.